It's a very, very important site. It's a virgin area. It's one of the excavations we just discovered right now. What a lucky day. Really, what a lucky day. It seems to me that it's like a wooden coffin. We can see that it's painted, well decorated. According to the position of this one, the head is somewhere here. So the hands, in really good condition of preservation. It's a lovely moment when we discover something that nobody has seen it before. It's really amazing. I don't know to whom this one belongs. It's still too early. Yeah, we can see the lotus flower. The remains of the, the colors, the yellow one, the light blue, red, a bit of green, which is really good. Yeah, it's obvious clear that it was, uh, it was in a coffin. It's, it's a wooden coffin. We can see also remains of wooden bones. So I believe that we should continue our excavation in the site completely. Then probably we can find a mummy, but I don't believe that we can find a mummy in a good condition of preservation. But for this, uh, for this wooden mask, it's a really good one. From the position, I can see that uh, I believe he's a man. Look at the hands. So uh, probably he was holding something in hand. We have to move this wooden coffin to, uh, to the lab for the first aid. So what we need now? To ask one of our colleagues of the conservation it's time now to stop and one of the conservators he's gonna he's gonna come right now to do a bit of uh, first aid in the site and then we're gonna move it to the left so i i had a strong feeling it's our lucky day it is just the beginning it's time to go down and to see mummies coffins sarcophagus objects Statues, it's a really amazing sight. Mum is almost everywhere, and it's a late period mummy. It's something like almost 3,000 years old. Well wrapped, well mummified, but it seems to me he was not a king, he was a ship, not a queen, not a noble, just one of the locals. That's why we had, they had to bury him in a very quick way. So, what they did, they put it like this, just the mummy and they had to cover it with just the stones and that's it next to this one we have something here unbelievable we can see such again beautiful colors wooden wooden coffin well painted again and well decorated with a lot of uh, hieroglyphic inscriptions here we can see the four gods of protection which is really good. Horus, the god Horus, the god Anubis. And here, the god Hoot, the feather of the goddess Might, the goddess of the justice, the goddess of truth. And those are the four sons of the god Horus. Emisti, Habi, Duamut, Eth, Khibih, Sunu, Eth. Those, the canopic jars, the four canopic jars, the four sons of the god Horus, those, they were meant to be uh, the organs of the mummy, stomach, lungs, liver, and intestines. It needs consolidation to protect the colors. So we had to keep it like this, I don't know, for, for a day or more. And we are planning to move it to the lab. Today, again, we found a very good finds, very good objects. And in fact, they are really in perfect condition of preservation. This is what we found till now. We call them labels. What I like the most, the red color. It's not really common to see the red color in such perfect shape like this. 
But at the same time, look at Habi. Wow. I can see remains of golden sheets. Look at the gold. Wow, 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 wow. This is what we call it the labels. Something like this in a site. I don't really believe what I, what I see. Look at the beautiful colors. Just to refresh your lovely memory a bit, that the Egyptians in ancient time, they had to use the egg, egg white for paintings, mix it with colors. After they finish, they use the egg yolk and a wax. And this is what we can see the reflection here. It's something shiny. It's not gold, it's not a silver, it's not a metal. This is what we call it, the egg yolk and a wax for, for a varnish. So to find one like this in that location, it hides a lot of value stories. Once again, stay safe, stay home.